The hall is central to every aspect of every girl's life at school. But over the last 10 years in particular, Benenden has grown and we're at the point whereby we can't get all of the girls and staff in together. If you look around, it's also looking very tired. It's definitely in need of renovation. Therefore, it needs to be refurbished. Sport is very important to Benenden and when I first arrived the single project for development that the girls would talk about was wanting an all-weather pitch. An all-weather pitch is going to enable the girls to practice 12 months of the year up until 9 o'clock at night. Before Benenden I played a bit of netball, done a little bit of athletics and a little bit of tennis but no lacrosse. So I got here like brand new sticks and I was quite nervous about starting but it was so much fun, like the teachers really help you, like you really get into it. We started off not really being able to catch the ball at all and it rolling around on the floor a lot during matches. But now the match has become much more fluent, um, we tend to be catching the ball a lot more, which is really good and much better to watch. So. Lacrosse can get quite vicious depending on who we're playing and it does get quite competitive, lots of the bruises and grazes but it's like fun at the same time. I'd like to continue my sport um, up through the school, definitely into sixth form and hopefully university and then if I ever have children I'd really like my children to like participate in sport as much as I do. Being a full boarding school, of course, we expect that much more of our staff than you're going to get in a non-boarding environment. But to move and live in this area of Kent is expensive, and therefore what we want to be able to do is to provide as many houses or apartments on site for staff to be able to live in, so that we continue to attract the best staff to Benenden in the future. Having more staff living on site means that they contribute out of the normal school hours, they go into the boarding houses in the evenings, and they strike up a very different sort of relationship with the girls. And all of that does is just enhance the wonderful sense of community that we have here at Benenden. When I started it, I was quite nervous, but then I got here and everyone was really nice. and. It was, I got really settled in really quickly. So when you're homesick, there's tons of people you can talk to, especially your matron. So you can go talk to your matron, they'll give you a hot chocolate with marshmallows on, and you can just talk to them and they'll really help you and you'll feel much better. I play with my friends a lot and it's really nice, but when we play table football, I always lose, which is really annoying. We get to hang out with teachers quite a lot. So we have prep, and in prep you can like talk to your teachers. But then after prep, um, when you're about to go to sleep, some teachers come into um, your house and they like help you get to like help you go to sleep and talk to you, and you can joke around with them. <laughs> At Benedin, the food is amazing. I he even hear there's like a bread chef who just makes pastries and stuff, which is really cool. In the afternoon, you have savoury food, so it's like hot dogs and pizza. And then in the morning, you have cake and cookies, which are the best. Music is very popular at Benenden and we've got hundreds of girls who take musical instruments to all sorts of standards and they're very keen to practice and we even take breakfast down to the music school at eight o'clock in the morning so they can have a quick practice before prayers. But what we want to do is we want to take music onto the next level. So in short, we want a really fantastic state-of-the-art music centre. Benenden's a very happy school, everyone knows each other, so if you walk past people in the corridor you say hello, even if they're not in your year, so older or younger. My favourite instrument's the violin, as I've played it for the longest, and I enjoy it, so if I'm stressed I can come down and practice and I'll feel relaxed. I play in the National Children's Orchestra out of school, and we play in fantastic venues like Birmingham Symphony Hall, Albert Hall and the Festival Hall. I recently auditioned for Cantamus, 
which is the selective school choir. Next week we're going to New York, which will be good fun for a week. Life would be very different at Benenden without music, because it brings school to life. The Trust Award programme at Benenden, I think, is one of the most important things that we do. It was started about 10 years ago with a view to being able to offer a 110% bursary to a girl who comes in either at 11 or at 16. The benefit of the award scheme means that the girls get the opportunity to come to Benenden and benefit from our education, but actually I think most importantly benefit from a, a full boarding opportunity with everything that we have to offer. But we also get a huge amount back from our Trust Award girls and their families, and of course our head girl this year, Amber, is a great illustration of how successful this programme can be. A lot of people had warned me and said, oh, you have to be prepared. The, the girls have a very different standard because they have had very wealthy backgrounds. And oh, I don't know what I was expecting, but actually when I came here, it was no different. We were all the same. We all had tuck boxes full of sweets. And for the occasions when perhaps I might not have been in such a financially stable position, the school was supportive with that. They took that into account. The bursary I'm on, they think of everything. They're not going to leave me embarrassed or in a difficult position and the girls here are not the type to ever rub wealth in, in your face which is what you know some people might think. I never thought that poetry would be something I care about and creative writing in general and the English department here is just fabulous. I have an unconditional offer to my first choice university, uh, the University of East Anglia to do literature and creative writing so I can't wait for that. I thought I might go in for a prefect position, just give it a go. And then to be offered head girl is very much, uh, well, I feel like I've made it.